Hello everyone, Lady Phoenix here and welcome back to some more Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. So in the previous video we completed the Vault of Tears dungeon and collected the blue stone of the three colored stone for the Mornstar. And now in this video we're going to head towards the area where the next stone is at. I'm not sure if it's the red one or the yellow one but it's one of those colored stones. Now out of the three stones that you collect this one is going to take the most time because we have a lot of you know text-based heavy stuff at least from my memory if memory serves me correctly and it's going to take about i say three maybe four videos max because it's a nice area and we don't have the appropriate clothes so and there's another issue that comes along with it so no matter no matter nah, i just passed the thing but i don't really care right now now, if you head up north right here, wait, hold on, where's the star? There it go. <laughs> if you head up north right here and land where the star is at, you got this guy right here blocking the entrance. And this is why this is going to take forever. You need to get the permission from the elder to access the area, which the glittering grotto is the next dungeon-like area that we have to access. So we have to go to a small town by the name of Yule, and it's right here. Oh wait, I don't know why the indicator was all the way up there, but no matter. And here it is. I don't see how Esther is surviving, because Swain and Drippy is shivering like a leaf. Well, shaking like a leaf, I should say. Alright, well. Oh gosh, here's that guy. Yeah, we got quite a bit of errands and tasks that we have to complete. Now that we're inside of Yule, as you guys can clearly see, we got flashing dots everywhere. But, I want to complete Morinstar before I continue onward with any errands of the game. So you don't have to worry about me deviating from the storyline anytime soon. So, we gotta talk to this big fluffy guy. I don't see how they can talk. You can't see their mouths or whatever, but that's cool. How do you know my name, dude? Er? How do you teacher know about me? Hi, Aki, Nike. I don't know how to pronounce that, but okay. But you're a snow person. Tomty, I guess, is its name. And the person that is your teacher is a cat. Okay, that's not weird. Well, the, one of the stars on the map led me here, so yeah. I, I Trust me, I probably wouldn't want to come here. I mean, don't get me wrong, Yule is a beautiful town, and it's all beautiful and snowy, but I would get tired of it, which is one of the reasons why I hated Michigan. The winters were brutal. <laughs> so glad I moved to Tennessee. I have to figure out what's going on in the world somehow. That's nice. Well, 
What's that? Yes, I am. That's what's up. Can we have a, like a nice cup of coffee? Well, that snake was was a was a was a jerk. Yes, we would like to have access to that. So, could you like point us in the direction of where the elder is at? Actually, well, yeah, no, well, yeah, no, no. The Mall of the Mountain King. Okay. That, yeah, I'm with you, Swain. Oh, you, you know what, Esther? No time. There's no time for you to be a B word, okay? And better weather gear, because this ain't going to cut it. Aww. Why, thank you. Yeah, can we, like, get that on a house, though? No? Okay, fine. <laughs> well, we, we're not gonna worry about Swiss solutions. Oh, man, we are going to be swamped with errands and bounties when we get done with, uh, when we complete Morningstar. Man, oh, man. Oh, well, no matter. Well, for now, we can't do anything but freeze our butts off, so let's go ahead and just enter the inn and have a wonderful day. And also get another page of the wizard's companion. And I am Baroque. <laughs> and as usual, we do have another shop here. And it's unfortunate because I don't think I can afford the blades that's here. There's one blade that's sold here called the Blazing Blade or the Burning Blade or something along those lines. And it would be very effective in the next area because there's a lot of ice elementals going on in there. And also there is equipment that has resistance to ice. Well, well, it is you, the famous Alicia. To what do I owe this pleasure? I see. So you have come to do battle. How very unwise. And you a great sage. <sighs> what do you hope to achieve? You know that all magic is powerless in my presence. <laughs> Just the place for you, a prison of eternal darkness.
that's not good. It really does look like Oliver's mom, though, so the soulmate thing is for sure a match. But you can't blame Oliver for, you know, instantly calling her mom, you know, because she really does look exactly like her. So even though it's just nothing but a simple palette, palette swap, but still pretty good palette swap. I will give the game that there was like no laziness, in, especially like between Rashad and Rusty and Esther and Myrtle, you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah, can we get some, like, a coat, a jacket, a, heart, a, a scarf, hat, something? Sheesh. Freezing my nips off. Alright, no matter. I think... I think there's another Horus ritual. I think Horus is in here. I am not entirely sure. Hmm. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Horus shows up at Castaway Cove twice. Off screen, I'll have to figure that out. Ooh, Frosty Fun. Nice. And the reason why I say, I know for sure he comes to Yule. Um, because one of the answers is to the riddle, to his riddle, is Blizzard Bloom. So I know for sure he comes here. I just don't know if he's actually here. He may be inside the the um, elders' little hut, igloo, whatever. Yep, there he is, right there. Actually, let's take care of him now. Before we go ahead and speak to the elder. I almost uh, clicked uh, nature's tongue. It's like, no, he's not an animal, he's a ghost. Big, gentle creatures. I still... I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. It sounds delicious, but at the same time, it's stew. Right. Like, stew was meant to be hot. Yeah, I'm not doing all that. I believe the answer, if I remember correctly, is Blizzard Bloom. Yep. I wasn't sure if they were going to take it as a, as with an S in the end or not. So that's why I was like, oh, that's why I stayed quiet. I might have, I was like, I was thinking to myself, like, maybe I have to get rid of this. I'm not sure. Cloudburst, I never used it. You know what? You guys don't have to freaking teach me. I mean, tease me. That sounds cool. <laughs> I 
Oh, poor horse. And that he's going to be off until the next town, and we won't see horse for quite some time, so. Eh, screw it. Now let's talk to the Tomte or Tomate or however you pronounce it, Elder. What in the world? At least this one somewhat got a mouth. Well, maybe. His beard is covering it, so I'll give him that. But he got... Look at his freaking hair all... that covered his eyes. <laughs> That's okay, we got Tangri. He's just gonna drop us off in front of the entrance. Yeah, whatever, but I, I would like it better if I had, like, a sweater or something. Well, that wasn't hard. Thank you. We've freezing our nips out out here. Okay. Uh, hey, dude. How's it going? Okay, so now that we have all that together, uh, I'll just show you guys the entrance to... Oh, sorry, dude. Kind of got confused with my map there. I'll just show you guys the entrance of the glittery grotto, which you guys already know. You just hop on 10 grade and just go north. Well, actually, no. You would go south from where I'm at, so you'll just turn around. And just go that away. Here we go. Kind of get confused. Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry. There we go. Oh, I almost landed on this guy. Sorry, dude. Yes, thank you, dude. So, in, I'm going to end the video here. And in the next video, we are going to venture off into the Glittering Grotto and get the next stone. So if you guys would like to see more Let's Plays or Weekend Walkthroughs, just click on the links in the description below. But until then, you guys take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.